Now it's time for another check on our first warning weather because this is an impact day because of the heat. It's going to feel like the triple digits today, right, Derek? That's right. In fact, nearly 105 degrees this afternoon. Yikes. So that's kind of what we're dealing with uh, here today. And also the chance of showers and thunderstorms here as well exists. I don't think it's going to be as widespread as nasty as what we had last night or last evening, but the chance is there as we head to this afternoon. Plus, we'll talk about barrel as well. Live look at the satellite and radar. The last six hours here, things have really dried out before that very wet and stormy across the area. I just got to check now on barrels just off to the south of us here right now. And as a matter of fact, you can see that the showers and storms here over the last six hours here have started to blossom here a little bit ever since it really left the Yucatan Peninsula from yesterday. It's had a tough time organizing and trying to gain strength here over the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico. But the thinking is that, that will continue to strengthen, though, over the uh, next couple of days before it makes landfall here somewhere along the Texas coast where they do have hurricane watches still in effect, likely to be upgraded to hurricane warnings probably sometime today or tomorrow. But here's a look at the latest right now on Tropical Storm Barrel as of 4 a.m. It's moving towards the west northwest at 12 with winds of 60 miles an hour pressure. 1,001 millibars, and as you can see, will continue to move towards that northwesterly direction and uh, possibly intensified up to 65 miles an hour as we head into tonight around 1 a.m. just after midnight or so. And as it makes its way closer towards the Texas coast, we could be looking at this restrengthening back up to a Category 1 hurricane heading into tomorrow night before landfall takes shape here as we head into Monday afternoon and then eventually moving its way towards the northeast over the uh, deep south here and just be basically a remnant area of low pressure while still creating lots of heavy rainfall there being the main threats. As far as the models go, very good agreement that this will continue moving towards the west and northwest. A landfall again somewhere between Corpus Christi and Houston is what the general consensus is right now still through Sunday into Monday. Current temperatures, 70s and also lower 80s, 82 right now at Lakefront. Afternoon high temperatures today. I'm expecting highs to reach those lower 90s. Very much uh, average here for this time of the year here so far in July. But our feel like temperatures will be anywhere between around 100 to as, fi to as high as 105 or maybe even as high as 106 degrees in some spots. No heat advisories in effect here for today. Maybe a different story though tomorrow as heat index values could near 110 in some spots such as portions of the North Shore. Let's take you hour by hour here on the model and you can see maybe some showers and thunderstorms begin to develop here as we head into this afternoon and then dissipating as we head into tonight, followed by more chances of showers and storms mainly off towards the west of us as we head into tomorrow. Maybe some of the outer bands from barrel here sneaking their way into portions of southeastern Louisiana it just really depends on how close the system actually gets to us. We could feel the leftover effects here from that as we head into early on Tuesday morning. Your WDSU first warning seven day forecast showing that we got high temperatures into those low to mid 90s over the next several days. Some of the patchy fog may last into early tomorrow, but other than that, those chances of rainstorms continue into Monday and Tuesday. And we look to get a break in the rainy weather as we head into Wednesday. More chances of showers and storms Thursday and Friday with those highs in the 90s and low temperature 70s to low 80s.